Father, because you're about to be revived in this hour. Get ready for too much history. How to overcome it. Your life will never be the same. He's got a purpose and a plan for your life. Oh, you need to know God's will. See, some of us, we spend too much time seeking out the will of man. Do you like this? Do you like that? Do you like the way I look? Do you like the way I talk? Do What about my clothes? What about my hair? Get past that. People change their minds every day and twice on Sunday. Start saying, God, show me how you feel about me. Open up my heart and my understanding that I may see myself as you see me. Oh, you made me an original design. So you saturate your mind with scripture. Regard negative thoughts as an added motivation to memorize and meditate on the word of God. Dr. Ty, what in the world are you talking about? What I'm saying is reverse it. Uh huh. When those negative thoughts come to your mind and bring torment to you or have you crying all night long, cast it down with the word of the Lord. Uh huh. Let that be a motivation to remember the scriptures. Say, oh, wait, a minute, hold up. I need to shut you down right now. There's got to be a scripture that tells me better than what this foreign voice, the accusation, this guilt, shame, and condemnation. The Bible tells you that there is no condemnation to those that are what? In Christ. That's why it's so good and so wonderful to have Jesus Christ in your life. To really, really say, I accept you as Lord. You take the wheel and you drive it right now. Uh huh. Teach me, show me. God has a plan that is absolutely free and all you got to do is believe and receive it. My God. So he says, what? Well, meditate on the word of God. These things I have spoken to you that my joy may remain in you. And that your joy might be full. That's what John 15, 11. Whatsoever things are true. Whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Oh, Holy Ghost is kind of pulling me back to whatsoever things are true. Mm, somebody out there is tormented right now and it's all a lie. But God is freeing you. Don't believe everything somebody tells you. Check it out. Ask for the two witnesses. Don't let somebody just come feed you. And then you say, well, who said it? And, and oh, I don't want to get it. Excuse that person from your presence. If they can't give you the witness and bring the witness to you, then just excuse them. You don't need a hired hand to bring torment to your mind. Somebody said, the Bible says, what? Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, my God, think on these things. I'll say it again. Some people that's listening to me right now, would be in a much better position if you could just shut down the lies. <laughs> things that is not even validated. Things that no one can even prove it to be true. Get back to the word of God. He tells us what to think of. Oh my God. You better think. <laughs> think about what you're thinking about. Oh my God. So we got that. Allow the word of God to regulate your mind. Shut down all lies and false accusations. Get them out of your space and keep it moving. The next step you want to take, and we're talking about too much history, how to overcome it. Now this part here that we're about to go into is going to be challenging, especially to people who are hurting, especially to people who are going through a little something, something, but especially to people who feel like they got a right to blame this one and that one and this one and that one. This part is going to challenge you to examine yourself. Oh my God. Too much history. How to overcome it. Confess and forsake secret sins. Like I say, this is the challenge. But if you really want to be free, you'll be real. Are you angry and bitter about the way you've been treated by others? Mm. Too much history. How to overcome it. See, when people gossip and slander and put half truths out there, that hurts. That truly, truly hurts. And there's some people out there right now in pain. 
But you got to challenge yourself. Am I angry and bitter? You see, Jesus challenges us to what? Love your enemies. And forgive those who have persecuted you. Forgive those who lie on you. See, this is the part of it. This is the part. If you want to be free, if you want to overcome too much history, (laughs) you got to bring yourself back into the word. So look at somebody and say, I got to bring myself back into the word. So I got a challenge. Am I angry or bitter about the way I've been treated? And if you say, well, you know, Dr. Ty, I am. I have to admit, I just want to beat some people down right now. Put your hand over your heart. We can stop a pause and say, Lord, take out the bitterness and the anger out of my heart. Oh, it's just that simple. He hears you. And see, one source of negative thoughts is secret sin from the past or the present. And see, sin, those things, and sin is what? Things that displease God. It has to be exposed before God. You got to bring it to the altar. And if you're not at a church and you can't bring it to the altar, just sit down somewhere. Just get to a quiet space. You may even have to go to a a, a quiet place and, and just say, okay, God, I'm real. This is what's going on on the inside of me. And I need you to help me to get it out of me. (laughs) You don't have to be long and drawn and you talking through a wall or through a look, you know. No, go somewhere and sit quiet and talk to the Lord. Tell him all about it. One of the sources of what negative thoughts is what secret sin from the past or the present. As long as we ignore or conceal or excuse sin, Satan will be given authority to torment us with destructive thoughts. That's why you got to get it up and out. Get it up and out. Get it up and out. Uh huh. If you're in a place in life where you just need another human being, make sure you're talking to somebody that's trusted. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you how you know if the person is trusted. See, there's a saying, if a dog will bring a bone, that dog will carry a bone. And basically what it means, if someone bring you gossip and slander and stuff about other folk, they're going to put your stuff out there too. Okay, you don't want to share your information with them. You don't want to pour your heart to someone like that. So you just pray. As you mature in God, the more you know, if you tell Jesus, it won't go anywhere. Somebody say amen. But if you're in your walk in God and you really, really need a comforter, make sure it's someone you can trust. Amen. So, Satan will be given authority to torment you with destructive thoughts. So, and you can find that in Proverbs 28 and 13. Uh huh. Make sure you examine your heart to discern ways that you are not pleasing God. Uh huh. Just be real. Just say, God, where am I not pleasing you? And the Lord will show you. Oh, yes, He will. He is the potter. You and I are just pieces of clay. We are not the creator. We are the created being. He knows how to speak to us in a way that we will understand it. Oh, yes, yes. He's not this great mysterious force and you just don't know how in the world can I get God to speak. No, just be open, be real, be sincere, and God will show you where you are not pleasing him. Not to condemn you, but to help you to grow. As he exposes sin in your life, repent and be cleansed of all unrighteousness. You'll find that in 1 John 1, 5 through 2 and 2. Just read it. 1 John 1, 5. And just read it. Read it on down. Because what you want is to be, what? Real, transparent, sincere with God. And I guarantee you, he will help you. Look at somebody say, Jesus is going to help me out today. <laughs> so how do I get past too much history? How to overcome it? First, what? I fill my mind with God's word. Secondly, I confess and forsake secret sins. Uh huh. Third thing I want to do is what? I want to express gratefulness and praise to God. Uh huh. Choose to have a grateful heart. Mm. Choose to praise God every day. Choose to just say, Lord, I thank you. Find things to be thankful for. I got up this morning. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I have peace in my heart. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Find at least 10 things that you could just say 10 things. These 10 things I can thank God for. Uh And everybody got something to be thankful for. So you express that to God. You put your trust in the Lord and not yourself.